Hi there. Um, yeah, I just wanted to show you where I've got to. I've been uh, working on the UI and uh, that stuff uh, over the Christmas break. So you can see a few things here. Uh, I've made myself some uh, sort of stand-in textures for turrets. Uh, so models rather, I need to do the textures. Um, you see I've got a couple of shaders here. There's uh, these shaders which allow you to select the various ships. Well, I'm just noticing that's not working. Why is that not working? I think it's because I have a mesh collider on my skybox. Derp. <laughs> I just shoved a skybox in. Um, Sky Sphere, technically. Yeah, there we go. So you can now select ships. Uh, I've got a debug panel in here. This is just showing all of the different communication entities that are going on. Uh, it seems to be quite a bit laggy. I don't know what the frame rate is. Uh, I know, I'm doing 100 and something. I noticed while I was running the recording software, the frame rate's been a bit laggy. So basically, when you select a ship, it populates the command bar down the bottom. If it's uh, an enemy ship or a hostile ship or one that you don't control directly, it will have a slightly different one, which will just show you the rough information and what information you've scanned from it. On a ship that you control, it then goes through all of the modules on that ship and uh, gives you the, the information on those. It's also pulling in hull, armor, name, type, these are placeholders, these buttons here, they're going to be uh, like opening the cargo, opening the engine configuration, systems config, and these will be, you know, attack, defend, that sort of like state commands. Um, so the camera is pretty much the same as, as it's always been. Up here we've got an empire view at the moment, doesn't do anything, it just has some various little bits and pieces. Uh, the thing up here shows you what's on your, uh, like what's currently in the local area. So I've got my ship here, and if I click on the enemy ship icon, which I haven't put in yet, it will zoom in on that if you're able to see it. Uh, right. I don't know why there's a sphere just hanging out there. What's that all about? Um, so onto the the bits and pieces. Uh, all of the the UI is done with Angular uh, JS, which is a a, a model view view uh, a model controller view. There's multiple views though. Now I don't know why. Um, so basically, it has like JavaScript models for displaying data, and what the what the game is doing is it's passing the data into the web browser, which is then rendered over the top of the screen, which allows me to do pretty complex uh, uh, UI. So, for example, if I grab one of these, all of this is done in HTML. All of the values in here are updated via JavaScript and uh, are coming from the game objects. So, if I pop open the ship object here, we've got turret. You can see in the weapon stats, we've got these values. If I set that weapon to firing, it will change that to firing. Sorry, I've got a really bad cold at the moment. It will update the UI down here to show the ammunition, the health of the weapon and its current cycle time. Uh, obviously multiple weapons can do that. It will also show these up here so it's saying that it's currently got 0 of 20 ammunition in this uh, magazine. Uh, these projectiles will just kind of stand in stuff at the moment while I'm uh, just testing out the UI. Um, so that's that. If I do this, this will launch uh, the fighters from the fighter bay. And there's multiple fighter bays on the ship. And each of these gets their own selection sphere as well. And it should pass through. So it will, if you select uh, the ship underneath, it will, it will select everything in that. In that column, what I need to do is prioritize it. So it will do ships first, then fighters, uh, I like fighters last. Uh, the fighters, other than patrolling, don't have any AI right now. Um, so you can't order them to do anything. Uh, you'll notice that the command bar has disappeared, so I need to uh, get that back. Why can I not get that back? Uh, stupid machine. Right. 
right, so what's happened is it's because it's selecting both, it's grabbing the command bar from the first one selected, which is this one. So that's a little bit of a bug I need to work out if I can get it from inside. Nope. Okay. So yeah, that's a bit of a bug. So I can't recall the fighters, but when you click the recall button, it will fire them back. It will like land them all back on the ship. So I redo that again. I do it without selecting the fighters now. So I've got the ship selected, I can launch the fighters. They'll fly out, they use uh, the Boyd's algorithm to fly around in formation and stay away from each other while staying as a cohesive group. And you can uh, add on a target so they'll fly over to a target area or follow a target object. Uh, if I click the dock button, which is like a toggle button with the launch, that will then they all go back and dock inside the ship. And that it will select it will disappear for them. Uh, I'm noticing now I've got the star background in, I need to make these selection boxes a little bit brighter because they're not particularly obvious. So yeah, that's that's pretty much that. Or well, I probably need to make the star background a little bit darker is probably the best way to do it. So I, I'll add that into the shader so I can add in a, a brightness. I'll also add the like the sun effect into the shader and I'll get rid of that up there which is pretty messy. Yeah, so that's pretty much that. If I fire all the guns and uh, what I want to do is actually put these in groups so that you can like fire all the small weapons at once or all of the weapons of a single type, all of your missiles at the same time. Um, and I'll bring in all of the projectile prefabs and stuff from the the uh, the old version of the game. Uh, yeah, so that's where I'm at at the moment. It's it's a bit of a a bit of a jump forward. Still got a lot of work to do, but it's it's the first sort of UI where you can actually control ships and that sort of stuff. I'm probably going to take a a break on the UI side of things for a while and work on some of the ship models. Uh, work out how to get the cubes to if you like have like two cubes next to each other, they should like sort of tessellate into one sort of thing. Uh, I'm trying to work out how to do that at the moment. Um, I'm not sure what this, that's not the right word for it, not tessellate. I don't know, I don't know what the right word for what I want, want it to do is. Um, if I can find some examples, I'll, I'll stick them up on Facebook. But great, yeah, thanks for watching guys, and uh, I'll see you next time I have any time to do an update, which might be next Christmas. Ah, I'm kidding. Uh, I'll see you later. Cool. Have fun. Bye.